Good morning and welcome to The Outer Worlds. This is a new single-player sci-fi RPG from Obsidian Entertainment and Private Division. Let's get a new game set up. Okay, new game. Uh, we'll go normal. Uh, we'll leave the subtitles on. Yeah, I think so. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, to the Halcyon Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Wow. This game looks lovely. Right, attributes we need to assign some. Uh, we'll have a couple in those. Uh, I'm going to have... Strength and Dexterity. We'll leave Charm and Temperament. Okay, next. Uh, skills. Um, stealth. And Subtle and discreet. Exactly what I need. Definitely sell stealth. I don't know whether we'll go for dialogue, maybe. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. Yeah, let's go for that. Aptitude. Oh. There's a lot to choose from here. Um, let's do this fairly quickly. So we've got Determination, Drink Effect, Block, Persuade, Shock Damage, Engineering, we probably want that, Dodge, um, N-Ray Damage Received, Food Effect, uh, Corrosion Damage, Inspiration, mm -hmm. Medical, Plasma Damage, uh, Science, that could be good as well, or Melee. Let's go for engineering. You poor thing. Made to listen to that dreadful music all day. <laughs> um, right, okay. We're going to have a female character. Let's uh, randomise just a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, it includes all the males as well. So we'll try and do this fairly quickly. My gosh, there's some weird faces in this thing is you can't go back if you saw a good one that you liked um uh what do we think yeah. i'm looking for the nose i think if you can get the nose right the rest of the character can just be tweaked so if you're female, what do you look like? Obviously without the facial hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, obviously without the facial hair. Um, yeah, let's get um, skin tones pretty good actually. Uh, let's get the facial hair off. Um, yep, yeah, no facial hair, thank you. Um, hair colour. Let's go for a lovely kind of blue-grey thing. Hairstyle. Um, oh yeah. 
I like that. Oh, it's like a green, actually. Let's go for face, eye colour. Have we got eye colour anywhere? Is that in features? No. Uh, I don't want any scars. I don't particularly want any dirt. Um, oh, look at this make makeup. Sorry, give me a moment. Oh, I like, I like the dark. Bit of goth going on. Right, am I eye colour? Right, yes, that's what I'm looking for. I want my colour eyes, which are like that. Okay. Um, how about that? It's kind of green. It's kind of blue. The only thing I might want to change is just that hair colour. So let's just try and get that right. That's purple green. That's nice. I kind of like that. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Try and do this fairly quickly, so um we happy with that nose. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's she's pretty good looking. Right, okay, next. My name. Okay, that would be Mittens. And enter to accept. Uh next. Okay, so there's my summary. Um Fairly good strength and dexterity, um, high intelligence, high perception, and average charm and temperament. Um, an aptitude for engineering, and all of these uh, skills here. Awesome. Right, let's uh, proceed. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Mm. 
Nice. There's something very subnautica about that. Oh, we've landed. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Oops. Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Very cool. Oh my Hawthorne gosh. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Look at this place. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. I Shame love that. the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Very cool. Look at this. I'm very impressed with all of the um, the sounds in the game so far. Wow, look at that up there. Right, okay, let's get going. So a little tutorial just to get used to the controls. Uh, Spacebar to jump. Very nice. Oh, this world is very pretty. Okay, we've got a crouch. Controls are not dissimilar to those for um, Fallout 4, luckily, so I don't know if that's going to be an advantage or not. We'll see. It's always difficult getting used to a new game, so hopefully I don't make a fool of myself. <laughs> I am looking forward to playing this, though. My God, listen to those sounds. Oh, look, there's a, there's a camp up there. Can we get up there? I guess this area is pretty fixed to start with. Right, okay. Um, it, hold E to take all. Right, our first bit of loot. Can't really do anything with it, but looks like we've got to learn to sneak. Well, sneak and use tall grass, rocks or other cover to hide from energy uh, enemies. The awareness meters over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. That's very similar to Assassin's Creed, if you've played that. We need to get past here without triggering them. Which I think is pretty easy. Very nice. Okay, path to ship is this way. Let's just drop down here, shall we? Guess we could stop crouching there. Whoa! Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. That was um that was something. These things are so cute. Little sounds they make. Twelve meters down there, we're gonna hurt ourselves. Is there a way to drop? Oh no. Okay, this is just to teach us about the healing key, which is F for some reason, which is a bit odd, but okay. Oh, there's a guy. Right, okay. Hey, you. Come here. Hi. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. <laughs> um... <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay. Uh, how are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? <laughs> Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Um, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, not bad. Um, how about I have you gun, though? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. 
not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. <laughs> You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Oh my gosh. Uh, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Nice. Okay, I'm off. Oh, we've got a gun. Right. Um, if I reload, there we go. Let's just drop, put that away for the second. Uh, let's do a little bit of looting. Um, I guess we'd have to crouch to get back here. Sultuna. Okay. So far, so good. What else have we got? Oh, look at that. Oh, I love the effect on that. Pre-sliced bread. Okay, we're going to be fine for food then. Anything else? Uh, let's have a little look around. Looks like some bed rolls, some wooden stools, a butt pan, a uh, coffee pot. Okay, got yourself a decent uh, kind of setup there. Okay, right click brings back up the weapon, that's cool. Wait, I suppose we've got to uh, blast this thing on. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the this <laughs> nice. Have we got an inventory? We do. Right, um, I've just pressed I. Uh, weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time, dragging them up to the slots at the top of the screen. Okay. Uh, so he gave us a saber. I just want to drop that on there. Um, there's my character, by the way. Oh, <laughs> she looks quite grumpy. Pretty cool, though. Um... Let's have a look at armor. Armor management. Uh, drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. Okay. So at the moment we've got a hibernation suit. Level 1, 3 armor and plus 5 tech skills. Okay. Uh, okay. I wondered if we would see her face again. No, okay. Holding the gun up in the air. A journal. So we've got a main quest in progress. Stranger in a strange land. We need to find Hawthorne's ship. Okay. Um, we've got a map. So is that us? I should imagine so. And that's probably where we've got to get to. Yeah, that's fine. Why is that still flashing? Codex. Um, oh, that's like a kind of a help uh, help guide okay we'll come back right good so how do I scroll through weapons nice good okay let's crouch well, I wonder if we can kill you no we can't but you're running towards me whoa Oh my words! Tactical time dilation. Uh, due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing Q uh, slows down the world, giving you time to think as well. Oh, so this is a bit like VATS in Fallout. Nice. Right, I guess we'll need a gun out then. Ooh. Right, we've got a vandal, marauder vandal. Help! Help! Oh, let's, uh... Oh my gosh. 
Okay, right. Space ball. Double click the jump button to dodge left, right, or backwards. Uh, double click the space bar. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and work that out a bit later. Right, okay. Uh, we'll take all. Rebuilt mining gear, Adreno and bit cartridges. And we've got this fellow down here. Okay. Reload. And let's, let's, we don't need to crouch right now. Uh, zero G brew. Tarmac and cheese. Fire effects, quite nice. A mock apple. Mag pick. Uh, bunch of nanas. Another mag pick. Should we pick this one? I think so. And we've got a staff. Okay, we'll take that. Free sliced bread, ration pills, fish sticks. This looks like a portaloo for some reason to me. Um, okay, I think we've got everything we uh, could from there then. Let's continue on. wonder if we can see anything from up here that we can't see from down there. Oh, we could actually sneak around. We're in cover now. Well, that's quite cool. Have we got any enemies? We do have an enemy. Um, okay, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to... Okay. Oops. Wow, okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't do too well there, but we're still learning, so that's fine. It was weird being in cover and doing all that, I have to say. Now, have we uh, got some bodies here we can loot? Yep, we'll take all of that. Uh, we've got you here. And you up here. Awesome. Very cool. So this holds nine, does it? Yeah, that holds nine ammo. What were they doing here? Do they have a base? Nope, they don't seem to have a camp or anything. Oh, I hear... I hear noises. Oh, look at that! Very cool. Hello. There's people down here. Look at that view. Look at the planet and the rings. Very nice. Hawthorne ship. Um, well, I might just grab very quickly a screenshot of that. <laughs> that looks so pretty. Okay, let's carry on down hey, here then. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay. Hi. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. <laughs> Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Okay, um... So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Still a moron. <laughs> oh, my, oh gosh, right, okay, he'll make it. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. <laughs> I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay. Um, right, Persuade. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Um, let's try you that think? one. Most marauders can't even talk. But criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. 
It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Language. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Got a marauder coming in here. Right. Okay. I just earned a fine bonus. Uh huh. Do we need to reload? Well, no. Okay. Is there any loot on any of these fellas? We need all the loot we can get. I should have used um, vats. Definitely should have used vats there. I'm going to call it bats, by the way. Uh, let's have a look around. Have we got anything else around here before we head towards the ship? Oh my gosh, it's quite an extensive area. Look at all that up there. Doesn't look like there's anything for us to go and pick up. There is a, a wreckage here. Oh yeah, there's some loot here. A primal, residence, adreno, we'll take that, um, a shovel, another residence, <laughs> little camp that they've got set up here, okay, oh my gosh, and this map is quite large from what I've seen as well. No camper that these guys were set up in. No. Oh, there is something there. A tamed canid. Kind of want to go over there and see what's going on there. Right, okay. What are you doing looking at the uh, landing gear? Okay, let's talk to this lady again, I guess. Did I loot everything, by the way? Canid skull fin. Okay, maybe it'll be worth something if we sell it. I'm pretty sure there were three guys, but... Oh. Yeah, I think we did get everything. Okay, that's fine. Just checking before we move on. Right, okay, Lieutenant Mercer. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to just go in the ship then. Right, let's, uh, Hawthorne ship, okay. Oh, hold, hold E. Right, you can fast travel to locations you've unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay, and that's Gladys. Let's put the gun away for a second. What have we got here? Welcome aboard. Apex Transport. Triangulum Colony uh, 2325. The Unreliable. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. <laughs> okay. Right, have we got any things we can loot? Um, yeah. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Light assault rifle. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's go in here. I think this is where it's asking us to, to head and then we can Unauthorized explore the ship. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Look at all these things. Nice. Okay, let's talk to Ada, who is actually Gladys <laughs> from Portal. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Um, what are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I think I'm going to go. Oh. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. She just rolled her eyes at me. Just 
You realise we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> um, okay. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Um... I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Um, well okay. done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay, we got some XP from that, and we have a new mission. Um, I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Nice. Please try not to lose it this time. Okay. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? I sure do, yeah. Um, Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable, I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Nice. Okay. So we've skilled up, um, leveled up I mean, uh, okay let's um, I love her facial expressions. Anyway, right so skill improvements, I've just pressed tab, uh, Auntie Cleo management training, every time you level up you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills, um, work, okay, armour consumable status, uh, status effects can temporarily raise or lower your skills. Okay. Right, what should we put our points in? Um, what didn't we really invest a lot of stuff in? I would like to... Maybe... Maybe, maybe we'll go full stealth. Yeah. Points available, we've got nine. Oh my gosh, right, okay. Ah, can we... How does this work? So we, we can only pick the, um, the, the sort of main grouping. Inspiration. Okay, tech. We'll put one in tech. Persuade. Defense ranged. Probably a couple in ranged. I, I doubt I'm going to be doing too much with melee, to be honest. Um, let's put another one in stealth. Um, we've got three left. Let's do tech again. Uh, two left. Should we put one in leadership? Um, I don't know, maybe one in melee after all. Okay, perks. Oh no, back. Uh, we need to apply. Okay. You will be unable to undo point allocations after confirmation. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Okay. Perks. Right. Auntie Cleo specialised uh, management seminars. Selecting perks. Uh, right. We've got one perk available. Um, resilient. Base armour rating. A few bits more. Additional ammo consumable and general items. Maybe carry capacity to start with. 
Um, so quicken the dead. That recharges vats quickly. Fast travel when encumbered. 50% more XP from companion kills. That might be a good one to get next. Um, negotiator. Less on your vendor costs. Um, crit. Weapons. Sprint speed. Walk speed. Damaged when you're alone. Meter and base health. I'm going to go for pack mule I think yep yeah, okay except for you awesome and we've got something flashing on the journal too in the codex uh, well yeah okay I think that's fine all right let's go and have a little wonder around the ship oh look at that the that's navigation a... console is offline at this time captain that's very hot um how very how oh I love the noise that's making that's so cool. Right, let's have a little explore. Oh, actually, something I wanted to do. We picked up another weapon. Uh, a light assault rifle. Let's swap those two around. Um, we've got two of these sentry sabers. They're both in good condition, but I think I'm going to break one of them down. Get some weapon parts back. Um, we've got a staff there as well. Okay, well, that's fine. What are we wearing? We're wearing our hibernation suit. Um, that has three armour. That's four armour. And four armour. Um, are they the same? Both in good condition. Okay, let's... I don't know whether this is the right thing to do, but I'm going to be doing more stealth, I think, in this. Oh my god, look at that. I'm dressed in rags. I probably... Oh, here we go. We've got to look at all these things. Right, lovely. Okay, awesome. Let's uh, have a little look around the ship then. Um, oh, we've got some stairs here. I bet these doors are locked. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. That's fine. Yep, sealed. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Anything in these uh, crates or anything around here? We found some good stuff by just being a bit nosy. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Okay. Uh, so we've got some lager. Nothing in there. Oh, right. something in the fridge. Okay. Well, there's a stash of food here and stuff. Okay, that's on the table. Is that like a camera? A nice board game. And what we've got here. So we've got a ladder. Right, okay, let's climb down the ladder. Oh, yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Um, right, what we've got down here? Uh, workbench discovered. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Okay. Uh, choosing to respec refunds all of your skill, uh, spent skill and perk points. Then you can spend them in a different way. No, I don't want to spend 500, but it's good to know it's there as an option if we really mess up, which is quite possible. Gosh, this ship sounds amazing. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Right, okay, that's where we need to install that. Oh, I love the, the dark glow in here. That's really cool. Okay, let's head down the ladder. Ooh, lots of little bits of flashes going on here. What have we got here? If your here? equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Nice. Okay, so we can modify weapons here. Let's have that shotgun. 
and weapon parts. Right, um, one of your weapon or armor is broken and at minimum effectiveness. Right, let's use the workbench then. Uh, so what is that? That one. Uh, repair. Is it that one? Repair all equipped. Six weapon parts. That looks good, I think. Got nothing to do, no tinkering to do. Uh, we've got no mods. Uh, nothing I really want to break down. Okay, cool. Let's go to our inventory. Let's just swap these uh, weapons around. I would like that there and we'll use the sword off shotgun assault rifle and you we've got 98 light armor uh no heavy armor and no energy and this takes light armor that takes heavy that takes light so we'll we'll do that for now and then we know the first two are ready to go um what does that look like There's the sword, and there is the assault rifle. Oh, it does come with a couple of rounds in it, actually. Oh, no, well, maybe that's just the capacity. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's put that away again. Right, we've got a bed here to sleep. And anything to loot. So we're down on this level. This is where we came in, wasn't it? That's outside. Right, is there anything else we need to do? We've been everywhere. I think we came down from there, didn't we? Yeah, that's the engine. Right, okay, I guess we need to head outside. But before we do that, I think that might be where I'm going to leave this episode. Um, so we've sort of set our character up. We've got the basis of the story together. Uh, we're equipped, we've been through the tutorial, and uh, in the next episode we will head out into the world and explore. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.